Nightly News broke a story earlier this year and updated it on Nightly News last night. Involved organized crime, allegations of payola, and the rock music industry. Correspondent Brian Ross joins us this morning. And with the federal authorities, a man that federal authorities is described as the godfather of the American music business. Welcome, Brian. Thank you, Pat, and good morning. At least five federal grand juries are investigating allegations of mafia involvement in the music business. And Tuesday, a grand jury in Newark, New Jersey, returned a 117-count indictment against 21 people, including Morris Levy, a powerful figure in the music business who owns record companies and record stores. Mr. Levy joins us this morning from Boston, where just 24 hours ago, he was arrested by the FBI. Good morning, Mr. Levy. Good morning, Mr. Ross. Mr. Levy, federal authorities were describing you yesterday as the godfather of the American music business, the connection between the mob and the music business. What do you say to that? There is no connection between the mob and the music business. At all? I don't believe so. You were indicted yesterday on three of the 117 counts. The indictment says essentially that you and a New Jersey mafia figure, Corky Vastola, uh, arranged to have somebody beat up because they owed more than a million dollars to the big record company, MCA. What about these charges? They're not true. They wouldn't have been filed yesterday if I had joined the witness protection program. Well, what do you mean by that now? Well, the story from the beginning about two months ago, my controller, who's worked for me for 30 years, a very mild, meek person, was grabbed in the streets of New York when he left work and taken to the Essex House Hotel by an FBI agent and a policeman, held there for four hours, told he was going to get killed and he must turn into the um, witness protection program. Mr. Levy, were you also told by the FBI that you were going to be killed by the mob? Yes. And did they ask you to join the witness protection program? Yes. What did you did. say? I said I, I wouldn't join the witness protection program. Why not? Two reasons. One is I don't, I don't believe in the entire thing as being constitutional. And the other one is there's nothing I could tell them about a mob. And the third is I don't, uh, um, there's nothing I could do. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't join. I don't believe it's right. I don't believe that, uh, uh, People should be paid to testify and, and, and given the... I don't believe in the whole program. I don't think it's constitutional. Mr. Levy, what about the charges that were named in the indictment yesterday? They're ludicrous. Uh, actually, if I joined the program, there would have been no charges. The three charges, from what I understand, I haven't seen the indictment, is one that I charge usurious interest rates, which is a complete lie. They I say you charge. loan money out at rates of about 104 percent That is a complete a lie. That is a complete lie, and I've never loaned anybody any money at any rates near that day. And as a matter of fact, if I lend money to friends and people, I don't even charge interest. Mr. Levy, let me ask you this. Uh, the indictment says essentially that you were involved in trying to collect about a million dollars for MCA records, that you and a New Jersey mafia figure by the name of Corky Vastola were doing that together and had someone beat up. That's distorted and not true. Was someone beat up, do you know? I heard he was, but I haven't seen it. Are you responsible in any way for that? No, sir. Why were you collecting the money on behalf of MCA? What was your I deal? I wasn't collecting. That's not true either. We, he, uh, the party that supposedly got owed me a million dollars, owed a company a million dollars, we sold them the records, and he owed us a million dollars, and he wasn't paying, and I honestly believe that he wasn't paying because the witness protection program told him not to pay so that possibly somebody could say something wrong to him or threaten him on the phone and they could entrap somebody. Mr. That's what I honestly believe. Mr. Levy, is there mob involvement in the music business? You know Corky Vastola, don't you? I know him for 40 years. He's a, described as a mafia boss with the DeCalvacanti Mafia family in New Jersey. Why do, you, why do you associate with people like that? I, I, I haven't uh, seen too much of him in the last 20, 25 years, but I, I associate with people I know, that I've known for a long time, and I don't believe I was indicted for knowing Corky Vastola. I think the three charges against me are the charges that we have to face, and one is usury, one is trying to collect money that's owed to me. They say that he got beat up, but I'm not involved in that at all. And the other one is conspiracy to do these things. The charges are ludicrous. If I joined the witness protection program, there would have been no charges. Mr. Levy, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank I take you. it you're going to enter a plea of not guilty to all this? Abs absolutely, sir. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Sir. Ross. Thank you. Thank you. Pat? Thank you, Brian. I'm sure there's more to come. There on is. That story. People are talking born to shop, compulsive spenders. Born to shop, compulsive spenders. Live from WBZ TV 4. This is 
Eyewitness News, the noon edition. Good afternoon. In the news at midday, a prominent New England businessman and record company executive today is denying charges that he teamed up with a reported mobster in an extortion plot. 59-year-old Morris Levy is named in three counts of a 117-count federal indictment. He's accused of two counts of extortion and one count of conspiracy to commit extortion in connection with the alleged beating of a record distributor. Morris Levy was arrested yesterday at the Ritz-Carlton in Boston. Federal officials say he's the godfather of the American music industry. Levy is the president of the successful Strawberries record store chain here in New England. He's also the founder of the Ro Roulette Records. Federal officials allege Levy uses his ties to organized crime to control the record industry. They say they were led to Levy following this man, Gaetano Corky Vestola, a reputed organized crime boss. This morning on NBC's Today Show, Levy says there is no connection between the mob and the music industry. Levy told reporter Brian Ross that charges against him are false. He says the only reason he was arrested was because he refused to participate in the witness protection program following threats on his life by the mob. I don't believe in the entire thing as being constitutional. And the other one is there's nothing I could tell them about a mob. And the third is I don't, uh, um, there's nothing I could do. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't join. I don't believe it's right. I don't believe that uh, uh, people should be paid to testify and, and, and given the, I don't believe in the whole program. I don't think it's constitutional. Levy will be arraigned September 29th in New Jersey. Well, sports is high enough.